Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're about to get unready. I always show you guys how I get ready, but today is all about taking everything off the face. I'm gonna show you guys my current nighttime skincare routine, all of the products that I use, why I love the products, and all of that. So um, when it comes down to my night routine, I'm more thorough with the products that I use at night than I do in the morning times. In the morning times, I'm usually using, what, three, four products tops, not more than that. But at night, I'm using more than five products, like five to 10 products, girl. It's a lot, it's a lot of steps, but that's just what I do for my night routine. And that's just what has been helping me with my skin. Now, some of these products are not gonna come as a surprise to you guys, cause if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I am a huge fan of some of these products. Um, one of the products is Curology. You guys know, well, if you've been watching me, you know that I have been using Curology for about two years now it's probably a little over two years but this is the product that i put in my nighttime skincare routine every single night so when you guys ask you know how did you clear up your skin what are you using to help you know with your dark spots is curology so they are sponsoring a portion of today's video which i am so excited and so grateful you guys because Y'all know I didn't know anything about Curology until y'all recommended it to me. Like I did not know anything whatsoever about Curology. And after using Curology for a few months, it was almost about, I, was, I think I was about a full year in with using Curology. They ended up reaching out to me and wanted to work with me. So I have worked with them a couple of times in the past, which makes me so, so excited to be working with them again in today's video. But um, I'm gonna show you how I use Curology and everything else that I use for my nighttime skincare routine in today's video. So let's get into it. All right, so I pulled my hair up. This is from Double Dare Spa and I'll make sure to have it in the description. They come in like a ton of different colors, y'all. Y'all know I just purchased a new face steamer, so we are gonna be using that today. I got this off Amazon. If y'all are interested, I will have the link in the description as well. But the first thing that I do um, before I take my makeup off is, of course, remove my lashes. I know you're probably not supposed to do it this way, but this is just how I do it. I just pull them off like this. It doesn't hurt because I feel like I mean, it was on my skin, it wasn't on my lashes. So, I don't know. It doesn't ruin my lashes, but I don't recommend you guys do that. <laughs> this is just, you know, this is what I do. Real life, this is what I do. But yeah, I pull those off and then I'll just take some makeup remover wipes. These are the one size go off makeup remover wipes. If you watch um, Patrick Star, then you know this is his brand. You can get them from Sephora. These are huge. They are some big wipes, y'all, like big. The only ones I've ever tried were probably about this size, like half of this, but this is a huge wipe. So I don't usually take makeup wipes all over my face. I just take it around the perimeter of my face, so where my hairline is. That way, once I start removing um, my makeup, I won't be putting so much product or just so much in my hair or in my hairline because most of the product is coming off with the makeup wipe. So I just take it around the perimeter like this, see? And then I always make sure to get my neck. And if any of you are wondering what I have, like what makeup I'm wearing, um, I know I'm wearing the Too Faced Matte, the new Too Faced Matte Foundation, but what else did I put on my face today? Dang, I did my makeup like early this morning, but the main thing is the foundation because I know I'm gonna probably get questions on, you know, what foundation I have on my face. Okay, so I'm done with that. I got most of it off, you know, most of what I needed to get off. All right, so after I do that, I'll go in with an oil cleanser or a cleansing balm. The one I'm using today is by Tata Harper. This is one of my favorite brands, you guys. Love, love, love the skincare line. Um, but this is the Tata Harper Nourishing Cleansing Oil. So I'll take a few pumps, just about two pumps. You can actually use one pump, but I'll be going overboard, girl. Overboard, and I'll just take it all over my face, and this just melts all of my makeup.
and then I go rinse. All right, so before my face dries completely, I got a, like a little bowl of water right here, um, but I'm gonna go in with my Tata Harper Clarifying Cleanser. So I always, always, always double cleanse, you guys. Cleansing oil and then another cleanser after. This is my favorite, favorite cleanser. I cannot tell you guys how many I've gone through. The reason why I like this cleanser so much is because it helps to keep my breakouts away. Like it is a clarifying cleanser. Um, so it's gonna help with blemishes, you know. So it pretty much helps to keep your skin clear. And I also like it because it feels really cooling on the skin. It's almost like putting on toothpaste, if that makes sense. But I just work it into my skin. Let me take But I just work it into a good lather. Now this may sound, this may sound weird, but I like to let this cleanser sit on my skin for a couple of minutes, maybe like one to two minutes tops, kind of like a mask. I don't know, I just, I don't know, that might be weird, but that's just how I like to do it. This is an expensive cleanser, y'all. This one and the oil cleanser, so I try to get the most, you know, I try to get my money's worth, so I let it sit on my skin for a few minutes. Let me just get a good lather in, and then I'll just let it sit on my skin for a couple of minutes, and then I rinse it off. All right, so this is how my face is looking nice and clean all right y'all i'm so excited for this next part we have our steamer steaming okay so this next step all right let me make sure it is y'all this feels so so good this is just gonna help open up my pores um <laughs> But the next thing that I do is go in with a face mask. Now, I like to double mask, especially, especially, especially when I have worn a lot of makeup. Um, I don't do this every night, but the nights that I do do it, I'll go in with a detox mask. And then after the detox mask, um, I'll go in with a hydrating mask. So, the detox mask that I'm using is Fourth Ray Beauty. This is the Big Detox Mud Mask. I looked this up and it has been out of stock for a while now, I don't know why, but um, we're gonna go ahead. Oh, this feels so good, y'all. This feels amazing. I don't know where I've been. I cannot believe I'm just now investing in a steamer, but this is amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with my mud mask. And you can see here, I'm almost out. I could probably get maybe one more use after this. But let's just put this on. So I was told to use a steamer while putting on a mud mask, just so it'll help to open up your pores. So y'all know I had to ask some questions because I did not know anything about face steamers but mm, this feels amazing y'all this is a moment this is like literally a moment y'all literally a moment right now so this is how my face looks after taking off the rest of that mud mask and you can see i already have like a natural glow to my skin looks really really pretty and fresh. So like I said earlier, sometimes I'll go in with another mask. So I do like to double mask sometimes, not all the time. But if I use a detox mask, especially on those days when I'm wearing makeup, if I go in with a detox mask, I usually like to go in straight after that with a hydrating mask. So I'm just gonna take this one by Bolden. This is the Glow Hydrating Mask. And I'm gonna put this all over my face, dang. Should I put my steamer on when I do this? It's already out of water anyway. Oh well. I'm pretty sure it's just as soothing when you're applying like a hydrating mask when you have your steamer on. Okay y'all, I had to get up and put some more water in my steamer because I can only imagine how amazing this is gonna feel when I'm applying a hydrating mask. Oh my gosh. This feels 
heavenly, you guys. If you don't have a face steamer, oh my gosh. It just feels like I'm at a spa. Mm. This feels amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna let this sit for about 10, 15 minutes and just, mm, I'm just gonna enjoy this moment, y'all. I'm just gonna enjoy it. Okay, we're almost done, I promise you. I promise you we're almost done. So after I get done doing my mask, I go in with the toner. And the toner I've been using recently is this Glow Recipe Watermelon Pore Tightening Toner. I have been obsessed with this, you guys. It's very hydrating. So I love, if y'all don't know by now, I love hydrating my skin. I have oily combination skin. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but I do have combination skin. Um, but any chance I get to hydrate my skin, I'm here for it. So I just pat it in just like this. Okay. So now after I get done using a toner, this is where I go in with my Curology. So if you've never heard of Curology, it is a personalized skincare brand that pairs you with your own personal your own personal dermatology provider that analyzes your skin. So in the past, I struggled with dark spots. Um, let me turn to the side so y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about. So this side of my face, I had a t like a patch of dark spots right here. You can still kind of see them, but they have lightened up tremendously, you guys. So I had dark spots over here. I get them on my chin right here. I also had them at the top of my lip, a few on my forehead, a couple right in this area. So I would always, always, always break out like so bad during that time of the month. And for the longest time, I was trying out so many different products, trying to see, you know, what works, what doesn't work. And I did come across some products that were helping my skin, but I was needing something that would actually clear up my skin, like literally clear my skin, something that would help with my breakouts, help with my dark spots. So I was introduced to Curology by you guys. You guys introduced Curology to me. So ever since then, y'all, I have been using it nonstop. All right, so I know some of you are probably wondering, okay, how does it work? So um, the way it works is you'll take a picture of your face and you have to make sure that you don't have anything on your face. So no makeup, just a clear, clear canvas. So after doing that, you will upload your picture to the website. Um, and then you'll take a really short and simple quiz. And that quiz is just gonna basically ask you about your skin, um, just, you know, what, what are you struggling with, all of that. Super easy, super quick. And then after doing all that, your provider will contact you and then they will send over your own personal um, skincare bottle straight to your door. Curology also provides a cleanser and a moisturizer. Now, me personally, I like to use their cleanser and moisturizers more so in the morning time um, because y'all know, well, if y'all watch me, y'all know my morning routine usually just consists of a cleanser, a moisturizer, and an SPF, and that's it. So yeah, after I do my toner, I'll go in with my Curology treatment, and I usually go in with about two to three pumps, and I just take it all over my face. And it is pretty light. It's not heavy on the skin at all. So I'll just take it, rub it in, and then I press it in. So yeah, if you are struggling with acne, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, just any type of um, skin concerns, then definitely try out Curology. And I do wanna mention that the formula can adjust to your skin over time. So say for instance, if you need a formula that's stronger or a formula that's 
weaker, you can always reach out to your dermatology provider and they will easily prescribe you with another prescription. So with that being said, if any of you that are watching this, if you have any skin concerns and you wanna try out Curology, um, the sign up process is really easy. And if you use my link, I'll have the link down below in the description. But um, if you go through my link, you'll be able to get your first bottle for free. All you have to do is pay $4.95 for shipping and handling. And usually the subscription boxes are $20 a month. But if you guys use my link, you'll get your first month free. Um, just remember, you'll just have to pay $4.95 for, um, for shipping and handling. Also, I do wanna mention, um, you do get a full 90 day money back guarantee. So if there's any reason you guys are not happy um, with Curology, they'll make sure to give you a full full refund. So yeah, if y'all are interested in checking out Curology, I'll make sure to have the link in the description. So after I put on my treatment, this is where I'll go in with my moisturizer. The moisturizer I'm using tonight is going to be my Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. And then I'm just going to go in with a face mask and then we will be done. Well, a sleeping sleeping face mask. Ugh, my camera cut off. But right here I'm applying my um, Clinique hydrating jelly it's a dramatically different hydrating jelly as my moisturizer mm. and then i'm put whatever is left on my hands and the very last thing well not the very last thing but before i put on a lip mask i'll go in with a sleeping mask this is the innisfree hydrating sleeping mask i love 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 this sleeping mask, y'all. I love it so much. So I just take about this much, not too much, and I just rub it all over my skin. See how my skin is glowy? It looks just like this when I wake up. And I say that because this sleeping mask stays on my skin, like, it stays on my skin. So I'll just wipe it in, we'll rub it in like this. And my skin is glowing just like that. So my skin stays dewy throughout the night. It's still dewy in the morning times, but you do have to rinse this off in the morning. But yeah, it stays glowy. It does get really, really tacky on the skin. And I think that's why my skin still looks dewy in the morning time because since it's so tacky on my skin, it's not like really rubbing off on my pillowcase. But yes. Okay, last thing before we are done, is a lip mask. I've been trying out this Ta, uh, Patrick Ta Ma Major Glow Softening Lip Mask. And I will say, I was thinking, so y'all can see, show y'all how much I've been using. <laughs> so yeah, I've been testing this out for the past week. But I will say, at first, I thought this was gonna be one of those really glossy, you know, juicy lip masks, but it's not. I hope you guys can see what I'm talking about. It doesn't look as glossy as the Laneige um, sleeping mask, but it is really hydrating on the lips. So I'll just take it all over my lips, rub it in, and it also kind of feels cooling and it smells like vanilla and peppermint. It smells so, so good, but yeah. That is my nighttime skincare routine. I know it was a lot of steps, but I really like to pay attention to my skin at night because I don't know, I just feel like my nighttime routine is so much more important than my morning, even though the morning routine is important, but I don't know. I just spend a lot of time on my skin at night. Let me know if you guys are the same way. So comment down below how many steps you take in your nighttime routine, how many steps are in your morning routine. Let me know down below in the comments. Let's talk about it. And also, any products that I use in today's video, have you tried any of these out? Um, what are your thoughts? Do you like the product? Do you not like the product? Y'all know I love to know your thoughts on pretty much everything that I share on my channel, so let's talk about it. And also, if you have tried Curology, let me know your experience. So let's also talk about that down below in the comments. Um, and if you wanna check out Curology, remember I will have the link down below. And again, a huge shout out to Curology for sponsoring today's video. But that is it, girl. That is all that I have. I am ready for bed. That is it. So 
Let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.